Hello everybody, welcome back, Ross here with more Tears of the Kingdom. So, in between I did some, um, I just did some item gathering, dicking around. And then I decided to jump down here and go for the second Poe statue. And, yeah, there was nothing happened along the way, it was all pretty, just standard. Run around, got attacked by a few Stalfos, and then, then, then kicked their butts. And I wasn't going to start here, but, um, this guy brought up something interesting. I take it you've encountered my brethren. Stay a moment. My brethren and I have combined our power to create the Tunic of the Depths. If you desire it, you must make a suitable offering. Oh, I thought I was about to get a freebie here. Tunic of the de Gloom Resistance. I need that. Oh, I could buy magic rods, too. Dark Tunic. Oh, it's the same one. I thought he'd have, uh, you know... Another piece of the Dark Link set. But, um, okay, no, Gloom Resistance Tunic is good. Acquired by offering posts at a strange statue, woven of monstrous materials, and offers resistance to the Gloom. Give me. Seek my brother in this land. If you do, you may obtain few further blessings. Should I just offer and, um, that was also 150? Oh. I guess I have to make the offering to the one at Lookout Landing in order to, um, get the location of another. Okay, so while I was heading for this guy, yeah, I saw some light roots as well, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to activate those. And then we shall move on. Ooh, an untainted spear. Eh, I'm pretty good in the weapon front for now. And he's very close to a light route. Give me those. And fast travel and some more bloody visibility. You know, can I use this on light routes? Hmm. Curiosity peaked. Darkness has been dispelled. And there was another one. Oh, it's literally that empty spot right there, yeah. Ooh. Big boy. I wonder if I could go ahead and fight that now. I won't. <laughs> Save everyone's time and my own embarrassment. Boop. Muddle bud. Muddle bud. Muddle bud. Don't mind me, gentlemen. <laughs> Fuck yeah, double jump. Ah! Fuck off. I'm about to walk into a hole. It looks like it's a straight shot. Not the next light route. All right. So we've got some more fast travel points set. Uh, what do I want to do now? I'm gonna go for the ferry. Ferry. Ferry! Uh. 
I desire power. Stable. And is that the location of that light route? Yes, it is. <laughs> it looks pretty cool. Wait. I need to boot up Age of Calamity. Is is that Aster's robe? Or a similarish design? Riding south. Shrine next to the state. trying to kill me. We need to work together. We're supposed to be on the same side here. Fenra Woods Excavation Site. Ooh. Just something that stays in place when you activate it. Nowhere else? There's gotta be a frog. Here we go. It's just like the law of the game. Da -da -da 
ta 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 Okay. Uh, I might be grabbing another cave in Bubble Gem. I see you, you lizard bastard. Man, this frog armor doesn't seem to do shit. Probably garbage unless you have the whole set. Damn. Oh well, it dropped a red. That's good. Nice. Alright. Another excavation site. Yeah, there are a shit ton of Zonai ruins in Farron Wood, so. Okay. I immediately get it. So, we need to make us. We gotta go fast. Could do something complicated, but looks like this is really all I need. The best solutions are the simplest ones. Maybe not the most entertaining ones. chest to keep them open. Thought it might trap me in and I'd have to use a sin to get out. Okay, this is connected to somewhere. Is there another path? Any holes that I can squeeze my greedy little ass into? something. Yeah. It's been harassing me for hours. Fucking die. I got a stealth hit, but I'll take it. Ding, ding, ding. Get fucked. Wooden stick. That's a new one. Hello, 
of scary. something flying. This game can turn to horror in an instant, so I'm just kind of on edge traveling. Oots a shock shine. God, I'm half expecting this damn gnat to fly into my drink and meet... Well, drink it. Long or wide? Oh my. I don't know, I think it's a matter of preference. I mean, if you can have both. We're using it to slap balls. I'm gonna call it a yaoi paddle. Okay. Because of the upward incline, it's gonna need a bit more force behind the head. Wasn't enough. Ha The tube's not connected to anything, so man, it's just <laughs> teleportation. This damn mat. It's driving me. I'm gonna go fucking insane. Okay. What is happening here? I think I'm overthinking this. Come on. 
this one's pretty simple. Might want to raise it a bit above the ground. is cleaned out. I've been seeing some stuff about the game and yeah like the fucking physics engine and that the game keeps a record of every single movement of every single object. This game is pretty much just a fucking marvel of programming. Like, Jesus Christ. This game's kind of just amazing from a technological standpoint. Nintendo's kind of crazy. And I love them. That's ominous. All right, fairy time. And then maybe go check out Melania. There's a tent over there. Survey team. Island state. Animals, damn it. Hello, mind if I ask you about something that's troubled my thoughts? Have you perchance seen a rather strange animal around here? Also, I've heard the sound of a flute somewhere. It's vexing, really, not knowing where that's coming from. That's right, it was a stocky animal that was wider than a horse and had strange horns, but not like a cow's or goat's. Oh, and it had tusks that made the beast look like a little brute! I saw the animal once in the forest off to the east. I rushed closer to get a good look, but it ran off by the time I got there. I'd never seen anything like it, I must say. The whole experience was shocking. Some travelers passed through here from Lakeside Stable and said they'd seen a similar animal. So maybe I'll find it again somewhere. A strange animal. The sound of a flute nearby. So much these days. Oh, while well, thinking of that animal, I was walking through the trees on the north side of the stable. Out of nowhere, I could hear someone playing a fun tune on a flute. But I couldn't see who it was. Not even the slightest sign of this mysterious musician. Who was playing and where? To the north. Da -da. Uh. <laughs> Just up there? there so you can't do this. Wait!
Alright, I wasn't even thinking. We'll have another Lucky Clover quest here. Good grief, where did Piper go? Hey, can you believe it? My friend Piper lit part of the field outside on fire, flowers and all. He's always trying to get a laugh out of me. But that wasn't funny. What was he thinking? He said he was about to show me a glowing tree. I mean, that sounds nice, but when I saw what he was about to do, I told him not to. Still, he did. And that happened, and now he's vanished into thin air. Well, given it's Piper, I bet he's only hiding somewhere playing his flute. What's in the Highland Well? You tired of me breaking shit yet, people? It's too fucking bad. We got more. Christ. Oh, that's... that's fun. Battle outfit. Sir, this isn't about you. Another one over there. Oh, hey. The Sheikah Shield. Bro, fuck off. Goodbye, Tolan. too happy about the uh, getting eaten.
Get that new entry. Double Sheikah shield. Leather. All right, they fucking disintegrate in water for some reason. This is probably close to breaking. It's fucking falling on me. This is probably... Wait, this is a well, not a cave. So, no frog. I don't know, it's a pretty... Meaty well. Or for days. I think I hear a frog. Okay, there is one in here. Checkmark by the well, huh? No. Perhaps it connects to a cave elsewhere. That's the most likely situation here. So yeah, no other well has been, um, this fucking big. It's just been a room or two. Ancient arrows. You just find the daggers and use fuse to attach them now. Got it. <laughs> that boy has one setting, and it is violence. Damn, where is this leading?
Why did you switch to a meter? I tapped L. I didn't hold it. Outrageous legs. Boy, asshole. And that was your final mistake. What if we had more stick? Fuck! Into the water. Another weapon. Well, when the double stick breaks, I guess I know where to come. Chum. Appropriate humor. Damn it, you know what I want to watch? Harvey Birdman, Attorney at Law. That show is so fucking funny. Mr. Harvey, please, you have to understand. We promise they're not stoners. They're not drug addicts. They're just fucking idiots. So, like, it's safe to say that no Koroks in any underground area, right? They're all on the surface in the Sky Islands. Secret Beach Cave. So, there's still shitloads of treasure chest in the ocean. And the bodies of water are around it now. Ooh, is that an electric lithophilus? Yo, I need your horns. Big-ass Marlin arm. Oh. Uh, 
double stick. Fuck yeah. Thanks for the horns. Okay. But what if sword boom actually? Hmm. I thought it would become like massive. Okay, sword boomerang it is. Hell yeah. Ridiculous. This game is a masterpiece in insanity. Maybe I should help this person. Though, well, they've lasted this long. They seem to have it under control. Yeah, they're winning. <laughs> oh, hello there. You a traveler too. My name's Savory, a wandering chef. Wander from place to place searching caves for uniquely delicious ingredients. As you both seem to be like-minded explorers, you're welcome to use my cooking pot whenever you like. Ah. Oh, and I bet the things I've learned in my cave searches could come in handy on your journey. Mind if I share? Caves are chock full of ores and ingredients. They're like nature's treasure chests. If you're not savvy to the joys of a good cave, you're not traveling to the fullest. Mm. For instance, uh, there's an opening in the ground north of here that leads into a cave. If you break into one of the ore deposits there with a hammer, you can get ore, obviously. But more than that... There's flint for starting fires, rock salt for seasoning your cooking, and luminous stones and gems to sell for high prices. Ah. So if you find an ore deposit in a cave, make sure to break it. Oh. Hope our paths will cross again somewhere. So long and safe travels. <sighs> Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Everything besides my Zonai stuff has stuff attached to it. I wanna... With that being, like, the max level Zonai gear, supposedly, I want the... I want something special on them. Okay. Very conspicuous rock. Okay, no. Sometimes a rock is just a rock. Ah, much nicer. Let's go check out Melania Spring, if he's even still here. All the other fairies have moved. Hello, hello. God Bridge. So you man, tell me, you seek the horse god. 
He does not. Quick study of his face gives him away. He's got the giant white stallion on his mind, and who could blame him? I'm right, right? Well, yes, my curiosity about this highly notable horse has drawn me here. I've seen it deep within this valley. I can verify it lives up to the description. It's giant, it's white, and it's a stallion. Extremely rare. The latest talk in our field of study calls such rare traits a mutation. We're doing research to the ecology of all the wild animals in the area. Oh, that such a rare horse exists. We want to study this creature and see its unusual traits close up. But as you can guess, the stallion is very strong. The marvelous creature refuses to have anything to do with us. It escapes us every time. It won't be tamed. Mm. Yes, yes, I know. Our research to the giant white stallion is paramount. But if there's a horse god somewhere, I really want to know about it. Oh. There's been strange talk for a good while about a horse god, one that lives here among us. I believe it's more than just legend, or at least I hope so. It's said this god can bring horses back from the dead. Oh. That all might seem laughable, even preposterous. But my friend and I study horses, and if such a god exists here and can resurrect them, then what about ancient horses? The mind reels to the possibilities. I'm willing to suspend my disbelief in horse gods for the sake of ancient research. So my search goes on. Uh. But there's a complication. They say this god moved, that he was here but vanished. Fortunately, tales of the horse god also abound in distant Akawa. It's looking more and more likely that the god is not here, if he exists at all. He could be somewhere in Akawa. Wait just a minute there. You're not saying that we are going to Akala, are you? Because we are not. Our main research is here. We've got to see that giant white stallion. Ooh. Well then, good talking. We'd appreciate it if you share with us anything more you hear about the horse god. <laughs> okay, so Melania has also moved to the Akala region. And now there's a giant white horse around here to match the giant black one. And there it is. Fucking unit. Keep that ass nice and still. Mash, 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 mash! <laughs> You're mine, bitch! Are you like the black one in that you don't? have max, that you can't do, like, the max speed. What? It can't be! Wake up, genie! Whoa, that horse, that must be. There's no mistaking it! That's the giant white stallion we've been trying to research. Seeing it this close up, that horse is just so... intimidating. It's so large. I feel so small. Words fail me. One thing I can say with certainty is that a mutation is in play here. What a discovery! Oh. A horse of this size. Capturing it must have been hard. And riding it next to impossible. Young man, you are remarkable. Mm. We still haven't learned about what I'm personally searching for, however, the horse god. If you happen to find out anything about such a god, I'd be thankful if you shared that with us, too. Mm. Finally time for a good rest. Whoa, 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 don't go off the edge, dipshit. I don't care if you don't like me. Fuck! What? God damn it. Um, okay, yeah, I'll deal with this later. Okay, yeah, it can't do the max speed. It's the same as the other one. It's just a bunch of a fighter, too. Bitch, stop resisting. You're mine. 
Hey. Hey, Arlie. Yeah. Welcome to Highland Stable. Uh -huh. Thanks for supporting us. Your first time. Here's a point. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> that horse is alive. <laughs> <laughs> With like muscle definition on the face. It's like some manga shading shit. Huh. Uh, uh. Plus one. Oh, what do I name this fucking unit? Meat. Oh. Ah. Mm. Did you hear? There was a fire north of the stable the other day. Just a small one, thank goodness. Apparently it was started by a young flute player who was staying with us. I heard he set off fireworks as a prank. Aww. Can you imagine? Haven't seen him since. Maybe he ran away. You'd like to get your award, right? Traveler Saddle. Standard saddle designed for comfort, durable material, holds strong in all weather. Oh. And it comes with a bridle, too. The design doesn't stand out, which is why it's well suited to any horse. With two more points, you'll be able to use our main restyling service. We appreciate your patronage. Ah. So what do you want? There. Figure it'd be a good idea to hang pictures. Mm. An impressive frame should be the focus of the stable. Now I need an impressive painting to go inside it. I was thinking, I heard this rumor the other day about this rare horse, this giant white stallion. Uh. Sounds impressive, doesn't it? I mean, a white horse is pretty rare, but a giant one? And it lives nearby, they say. Bitch, I just registered it. A picture of an impressive creature like a giant white stallion would suit the frame perfectly. Uh. Of course, the folks told me the horse hadn't actually seen it with their own eyes yet. They were planning to take the road to the Lake of the Horse God southeast of here and search for it there. Mm. If I knew for sure it was there, I'd go to try to get a look at it. <sighs> but I can't leave work for a rumor. Wish I had some kind of picture of that giant white stallion. If I did, I'd use it as reference for a painting. That reminds me. I feel like I remember seeing a very large white horse among the horses we're looking after for you. <laughs> no, that, that's not possible, is it? But anyway, I'd really like to see it. Even just a picture. <laughs> Wait, you already have it? <laughs> this is exactly what I asked for. This would really liven up the place. Okay, if I paint a copy? Uh, Thank you. It gets more enchanting the more you look at it, doesn't it? Such a fine horse. If only I could ride the giant white stallion, we would race across the wide plains. Mm -hmm. At my age, what's another dream to add to the pile, eh? Now just give me a moment to whip up the reproduction. Don't worry. I'm pretty good at forgeries. I mean... <clears throat> I knew it! Perfect! Thanks to you, Link. A sight for sore eyes. With that picture copied, I can proudly display it whenever I want. Or if you'd rather a different one, just show me a new one. And here's a free point. Oh yes, and take this too. A stable specialty. Energizing grip. Thank you for a truly splendid picture. Feel free to use the stable whenever you want. Pirate strike at pristine ocean resort. Oof, pirates. An ocean resort? That has to be the village way down in the southeast, I think. Loreland Village has been plundered following a formidable pirate attack. Survivors are left with crushed hopes. Uh. Oh, I knew it. Those poor people. I hadn't thought about it before reading this article, but I guess it makes sense that pirates might attack an ocean resort. Ooh. 
Yes? Need something, sir? I can tell you about the area, if that's what you're after. We have lots of happy horses roaming free around Highland Stable, so if you need one, you're in the right place. Then you can take it north or south, or wherever you feel like you're going. I can recommend some scenic spots to visit if you like. Great, let's get scenic. My first suggestion has to be the stable nearby. It's called Lakeside Stable. You'll find it if you take the road toward the east at the edge of Lake Floria. From there, the next suggestion's nearby. Go further east, turn south of the ocean, and you'll reach a resort town. Laurelin Village, it's called. The perfect place for weary travelers looking to relax. Wait, what am I thinking? We got word the other day that pirates attacked Laurelin. Since then, I haven't heard a peep about the town's fate. So what I said about Laurelin being a good place to relax? Scratch that. Although there's plenty more to recommend, just say the word. Alright, here's one that's been a mystery as long as anyone can remember. A good spot for true adventure! To reach it, first ride north until you enter a thickly wooded forest. Then travel east until you cross Floria River. And there, go immediately north into the rainforest. You'll find yourself what folks have long called the Zonai Ruins. Very old ruins. Very old! I can't imagine a better place for steeping yourself in nature's beauty and ancient history at the same time. In the air above the Zonai Ruins is a jet black thundercloud that's been there since the upheaval. You can see it from here, in fact. And... Am I seeing things, or is there something inside that cloud? That's a great scenic spot to visit as well. Or it would be. But there's no horse that can get you up there. Best you can do is gaze at it from below. Plenty more to recommend. Okay, third spot is Lake Hylia in the northwest. Your horse shouldn't go in the lake, of course. But you two can take a thrilling ride across the bridge of Hylia. Bitch, have you seen the massive dragon on it? One problem, though. Oh, okay, yeah. I heard an unsettling rumor. Sounds like there's a big monster camping out on the bridge. If you're as scared of monsters as I am, you might want to keep your distance. And there's more. Alright, ready? Favorite for last. Though it's a big to be called a spot, it's the southern coastline. Picture this, you and your horse riding from Martha's Landing to Como Shoreline and then Puffer Beach. You hear the waves slapping against the beach. Feel the cool sea breeze cutting through your clothes. While your horse's hooves pound faster and faster against the ground. Ah, there's nothing better. On a horse, you'll be able to outrun any monsters that spot you, too. Except, last time I rode to Puffer Beach, there was a swarm of flying monsters waiting for me. They came screeching out of a cave in the ceiling of this rocky area. Really caught me by surprise. I'm not a flying thingologist, but I guess they were nesting there. Anyway, those things can move as fast as horses. Watch out for them. And that concludes my guide to all the scenic spots. Hope you enjoyed it. I had a couple customers recently who weren't interested in any of my recommendations. Can you believe that? They say they were headed south toward the Lake of the Horse God and didn't have time for detours. Mm -hmm. I believe they wanted to find the giant white stallion or the god of horses. Ah. Anyway, I appreciate you taking an interest in my scenic spots. Come talk to me again anytime. So cute. Want to pet it? Ooh. If you don't check them out, I'll set the horses on you. Kidding. Do, do. Boot. Right, I did the well, it connected to the beach cave. Yeah. You a nomad? Suppose you've already seen the horses around fair and grasslands then. Well, I grew up taming those horses, and I've polished my riding skills till they shine. In fact, I'm sure there's nobody better than me, but these days, putting my riding skills to the test isn't enough. Ooh. So being the horse enthusiast that I am, I've come up with a contest guaranteed to push me even further. And what is this contest exactly? Huh? Why, it's a race to see how fast you can gallop around the course, without losing the cargo off the horse's trailer. Oh. In fact, if you fancy yourself skilled in the horseman department, why not take a run at my record? Huh? The challenge here is to go as fast as you can without letting the cargo fall off the trailer. The course takes you one lap around the fair and grasslands, and don't go trying to enjoy the sights. You gotta get through the ten checkpoints and across the finish line as fast as you can. <laughs> Do well, and there'll be some pony points in it for you. How about it? You got what it takes? Uh. I thought you had harder bark on you than that. Well, you ever change your mind, come back and see me. So this guy's still got a damn horse mini game, and I'm sure it's also Satan, just like the previous one. Oh. Hey there, partner. Did you head this way after hearing the rumors? Even without wings, you've traveled all the way out here. That shows some serious report of spirit. Mm. Well, let me give you the scoop. Some folks have heard a voice near here that sounds like Princess Zelda. I heard the chirps and warbles from my little birds and headed straight here, but something is fishy. Mm. For starters, the strange voice is crawling from Foral Plain to the northwest, night after night after night. Leave the... Leave the... At least that's what I heard. I didn't get too close. Hmm. Got out of there fast. Felt like a curse just blowing through the wind. No, sir. Not gonna think about it. Ah. Anyway, all the travelers that heard the eerie voice have also gotten spooked by it. They've been throwing their weapons down the well and then running away as fast as they can. Could the voice really belong to Princess Zelda? 
She's not usually so haunting. All we can do is seek out the truth, partner. Even if it is a little scary. An eerie voice. Mm. Hey, partner. You're finding this all a little scary, aren't you? Can't blame you one bit if you are. Me? Not at all. Totally fine. Just worried about you is all. Ah. What I'm saying is I think we should investigate this story together. I think we should leave at night. I'll be waiting right here. So just come and get me when night falls. Only heard at night. I thought I saw a well when I was riding up to the stable to register... Meat. Yeah, this is Foral Plain. song so well. Storm chasing fox. <laughs> Interesting. She knows the song. So... This creepy lady is singing some creepy song at night. Bro, are you fucking serious? No. No. No, I'm not dealing with your shit right now. Mark that for later. I am not in the mood. It's hanging over the edge of the cliff. This man is... For fuck's sake, Addison. You were like the biggest fuck-up of this world. Oh shit, Barosh, right, I need one of your claws. Oh. I hope Captain Flaxel and the squad are alright. Oh hey, things are pretty dicey ahead. Captain Flaxel's monster control crew squad is executing an operation there. There's a pirate ship moored on the shore of Minoet River to the west. But never fear, the monster control crew is on their way to take them out. <laughs> well, I'm not out there with them, because I'm here to keep them fed. I'm a cook. In fact, I just threw together a new recipe while I was holding another fort. Here, give it a try. Mighty steamed meat. <laughs> if you're confident in your ability to swing a sword, you should go help Captain Flaxel and the others. Head it west to Minoet River to fight monsters on the ship. Captain Flaxel. Monster Control Crew Squad 3. <laughs> oh, you caught me humming the tune I wrote, Frenetic Dance of the Firefly. Oh. Name's Eric. I'm a free spirit who travels where the wind blows me, once upon a time anyway. A while back during one of my windswept days, I got lost in a sea of trees. Starving, I fell to the ground. When I regained consciousness, oh. I was in another worldly place! Um, this is where he's supposed to gasp? Aww. Anyway, the sight of the sunset firefly dancing in the moonlight was so beautiful, I thought I landed in another world. Before that night, I was a free spirit. After, enthralled by the firefly. I'm setting up shop in this beautiful place where I met the fireflies. How about it? Want to see them? Aww. Anything else? Huh. No problem. Let me know whenever you need something. Right, it's a little bit of a mm, trek to the bridge. Farish will be long gone by the time I get there. Right, the flutist was heard to the north, right? Oh, Farish is going into the hole. Yeah, the dragons seem to go into the underground now. Which is interesting. Ow! Motherfucker! Dick? Hmm. 
Did I ever jump down and look for a nearby route? Or did I just get it on my map and then fuck off? Speaking of fuck off! Dick. Weird seeing them just go on the ground. <laughs> so, the Korok challenges in the previous game that were push a rock into a hole, now we have to take it back out and put it on a little podium. We have to undo what we did last time. How beautifully ridiculous. I wonder if there's a shrine around here. It'd be nice to have a nice convenient spot to get to the lake and the bridge. Alright, I was gonna go look for that musician. And then I got distracted. Which is the fucking motto of this game. Get distracted. Burp. Gold. It's weird not seeing a big fucking tower here. Maybe there's a shrine? Because that tower was essentially became my Lake highly a fast travel point. Let's put a shrine to replace it, huh? I don't see any green glowing happening. Okay, there's a geoglyph I haven't... I was like, wait, did I go to that one? I don't think I did. I did not. There we go. It's so much easier to get on top of this now. Boop. You know, could I jump to it from... There. Oh, hello. gonna look up here just to see if there is anything of interest. Maybe it's one of those shrines that you have to activate the fast travel point first and then you have a challenge to complete before the shrine appears. Maybe there really just is... Uh, looks... Leftover damage from when the Sheikah Tower burst it from the ground. <laughs> Big Chungus alert. Okay, yeah, his horn is different. Which I'll probably need one eventually. Oh, Korok! Goodbye. 
Goodbye. Cat balls. Go get that dragon tear, and then maybe hop down that chasm. Because I like going into places I fucking probably shouldn't. Croc! God, I'm like a dog when they see a fucking squirrel. Chase the plot. Oh wow, it's just well, that just ended up being conveniently convenient. Right on the side that I approach it from. Like, alright, time to start looking for the filled in tear shape. Never mind, there it is. I turned into a dragon. I'm sick as fuck now. Sonia. Oh, this is after Demise's resurrection. Zelda. Oh, this room. It's Sonya's grave. Navaru, before you face the Demon King tomorrow, there is something I must tell you. I came... I came to this era after finding a man underground. Hmm. Go on. When I witnessed what the Secret Stone did to Ganondorf, at that moment, I knew for sure 
What we found underground, that was him. He was still alive, still powerful. He continues to live on, all the way until my time. In tomorrow's battle, we won't be able to defeat him. No matter how strong we think we are, he'll survive. And you... And you will... Maybe so. But it is my duty to try. It was my hubris that set us on this path. I must atone for my error in judgment. And above all else, I remain the King of Hyrule. As with any leader, it is my duty to safeguard and protect my people. Even if I must risk my life. Raru. And if it proves impossible for us to defeat Ganondorf, we rely on your knight and that legendary sword he carries. Our last line of defense will be Link. But remember, that was a future where you never appeared in this world. And you are here now. Zelda, I believe there is a reason you were sent to us. It has to mean something. The reason I am here. Yeah, we're all a bunch of never came here. But if the upheaval is happening after she vanished, that did Zelda going back in time make things worse, or just everything's kind of playing the same regardless? I don't know. Time travel bullshit's complicated. That's a while after. On the eve of battle, Zelda tells Raru that in her future she's seen that the Demon King is alive. It means they won't defeat him the next day. Raru says he will still do what he must, even at the cost of his life. If they fail, their last line of defense will be the Knight of the Future, who wields the sword that seals darkness. Alright. Time to find the Korok, and there it is. That was easy. Yeah, ha ha. Heh <laughs> eh. Alright, let's go check out this chasm. If there's anything on these little islands. Side. Damn it! I'll mark that. Be gone! Seen them yet, huh? Too far. Damn it.
Duckies. Quack. All right, all right, all right. Into the Earth's anus. Shrine. No, absolutely not. That's very high. I definitely think I should try and make the jump from um, the Great Sky Island. Welcoming party is here. This looks like a particularly infected place. Like, oh man, it's everywhere here. And I don't see any light roots in the immediate vicinity. Really, you didn't <laughs> scream for that. Heart station here. It kind of seems like near a dead end with the path being that way. Oh wait, that won't work because the wheel will be... Yeah. Hmm. 
gonna try and make it like a tri wheel. Oh well. No. Not what I want. And it's backwards. We work with what we got. Is there a damn steering wheel anywhere around here? Whoa, 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 whoa! Drive across gloom, right? Perfect. Slopes too well. I'm on a light route. Does this actually not go anywhere? was just a tunnel. Oh well. I guess to light up the air areas next to it. Oh yeah. What happens if I do this? Find this flute, fuck. Bruh.
see Korok, I go to Korok. I'm sorry. Yeah, it doesn't stick out enough for, uh... Alright! Doing this the old-fashioned way. make my way to the rainforest stable. Oh, fuck off. Man, they're annoying. Now I have to actually fight the bees instead of just blowing them up with bombs. Guccini playing battle. <laughs> okay, nice one, Tulin. Okay, he'll even attack bees. Good to know. This kid is just ready to fucking roll. Oh, fuck off. I currently do not care. I should be pretty close to the stable, huh? Yeah, it's right over there. What's on the other side of the lakes? No, no, it's here. You can see it on the map. Black was a force. So, this is most definitely a high level area. Hit up the stable, get the local shrine, and get the new pen quest. If I can have multiple going at once. Excuse. Is that just a thing that they do in the rain? That's fucking scary. That's, that's intimidating as hell. Hmm. Keith Ellis, Wes and Decluda, the twins. Okay, that's... Here's the 80. The bedchamber of Ocula Citadel, the Skull's Left Eye, Stomp and Hyrule Field. So they're all... I thought I remembered reading something about one here, but maybe I'm thinking of the previous game. Give 
Give me my freebie. Ooh. Oh, what? Something. The Luminal Factor Stable received orders from Princess Zelda herself. At her direction, we opened a sanctuary for a new animal species. It's right across the ravine from here. Huh. Ordinary visitors can't easily reach it. With a telescope or the like, you might be able to snatch a glimpse. Anyway, once again, yeah. thanks for coming in such bad weather. First oh. time, free point. And prize. Huh. Oh. Oh. Rain's almost constant here. When it's raining, the well behind the stable's too full to go inside. But when the skies are calm, the water disappears, and I can give it a good scrub. Oh. Ask when the rain might die down next? Ugh, anyone's guess. Oh. Yes, yes, I'm coming. I'll be right with you. Oh. Like your points, right? Oh. 16, you can enjoy the main restyling service. You can now change the look of your horse's mane, treat your favorite steed to a new hairdo. With four more points, oh. you'll be able to register another additional horse. We appreciate your patronage. I was planning to visit Lorland Village, but I hear it's overrun with pirates. Guess I'll just sit here patiently reading the paper and pondering life's mysteries until the pirates decide oh. to leave. Let's see, what's in this issue? Mm. Goran's Ravenous for Red Rocks. That's interesting. There have been an uptick in nefarious activities by some members of the Goran tribe. Travelers to Goran City, beware. Mm. This must be some kind of joke. Everyone knows how kind-hearted Gorans are. Mm. Signs of a new weapon fad. Interesting. With weapons decaying all over the land, more and more people are embellishing their weapons with ores and other items. Mm -hmm. Hmm. When the upheaval occurred, some of the strange gloom got on my brand new sword and caused it to decay. Mm -hmm. I've got a nose for news. And I hear there's some unusual ruins around here in a cave near the waterfall. I'm tempted to go there, but right now I'm way more interested in this newspaper. Ooh. Has that empty frame caught your eye? Tell me your demands. Oh. Going to put paintings on display. Ooh. I spent a while mulling over what painting would be worthy of such a nice frame. Here's my thought. When it's clear out, which granted, isn't often around these parts, you can get a beautiful view of Floria Falls. Best place to see it's Floria Bridge outside the stable. Wouldn't the view from there make a nice painting? Mm -hmm. Problem is, I can't leave the stable on a cliff ended. Even if I could, it's rare the weather's clear enough. Maybe there's some other way to get a panoramic view of Floria Falls on a clear day. If someone brought me a picture, for instance, I'd be able to paint a copy and hang that. Ah, forgive me. Hope I wasn't in the way. Ah. The meal on this poster sure looks tasty, doesn't it? Mm. It's a simple recipe. Just do some fresh seafood with Hylian tomato. Not just delicious, but nutritious too. So once Ty comes home from... Excuse me. Once my husband comes back from his travels in the north, this is the meal I plan on cooking for him. I used to get the fresh seafood to make this from Laureland Village out east of here. Aww. But that was before it got attacked by pirates. What am I to do? Laureland's a lively piece of little fishing village. You can get there by taking the road east from the stable. It makes for a wonderful vacation spot, too. Especially if you're a fan of seafood. Don't think I'll ever forget the trip I took there with my darling Ty. It's awful to imagine the place falling victim to pirates. I heard that it was suffered in a pirate attack. I'm afraid I don't know particulars. It does sound as though the attack sent all the visitors scattering, however. Ugh, all those poor people. Laureland was such a cheerful place. What's become of it now? Where am I going to get my hands on fresh seafood now? You ugly three giant monster brothers. Give back our caves. Mm. As you can see, it's oh, Spinch! <laughs> the guy who named his horse also Spinch. It's usually raining here. Sometimes I'll be going about my business when suddenly... <laughs> bang! A bolt of lightning lands right near me. Or I'll be exploring on a crystal clear day and all of a sudden... Drip, drop, drip. You probably thought I was going to shout again, huh? Uh. Anyway, it rains and the water level rises. Sometimes it blocks my path home. Uh. So if you're just going to hang around here, just know the rain and lightning aren't your friends. That's the view looking at the falls from the bridge. On a clear day. Well, the rain's going to stop soon, supposedly, but it's going to be cloudy. Does that still count? Or does it have to be clear, clear? Ah, uh, one of you. He's just on the other side of the bridge. Simple enough. <sighs> just every time I see you now, man. I 
think. Pay me. <laughs> Stormy weather attack. Interesting. I guess there's going to be a clothing set for that, too. to get a close look at the animals over there, but darn it all, they run off and people get close. Mm. Fascinating creatures, stocky build, bulky animals, all of them. What I wouldn't give to get a closer look. Better yet, to touch one. <gasps> oh! Hi there. Didn't realize you noticed walk you up. Blah. Didn't really notice you walk up, buddy. Been looking across the way here. Wonder, are you curious about the unusual animals over there, too? <laughs> oh, so you're curious about them, too. Then you must have a keen mind. Oh! Those are a species of animals that a few have ever seen called Dondons. They were discovered in this area. A young woman on the opposite bank's been taking care of them. She really knows her stuff. If you'd like to learn more, buddy, I suggest you talk to her. Speak of new kinds of creatures. A pair of fellows visited the stable recently, and so they're searching for some unusual creatures. They're seeking a giant white stallion and nothing less than the horse god. Unusual indeed. That stallion sounds much larger than a horse, and that god is surely much greater than a creature. Those two headed west of here, toward the Lake of the Horse God. You can go talk to them if this sounds intriguing. Or the village up ahead, beware of pirates along the coast. Yeah, it can't be cloudy. Foggy, steamy. All right, I'll get to you later. You can go ahead and activate this damn shrine so I can get back here quickly. And yeah, Pen doesn't seem to be here, so one Lucky Clover Gazette quest at a time. bloom seeds. Like, picking them up seems kind of fucky. Hello, doggo. Man, y'all got close to getting pelted by, uh, ruins. Croc? 
No. Thought it was like one of the Korra cubes. Sets. I'm noticing my English just deteriorate drastically in real time. Jojo Uu Shrine. Really? Rumor has it that Korok's hide everywhere, huh? Gee, I never would have thought. Sounds bullshit, I don't believe it. Building bridges. <laughs> You're floppy. separate pieces. Huh. Aha! There we go. Just attach an earlier part of it. Absolutely. To keep it tight. Shall partake. May the light of blessing grant you the strength you seek. Stupid Korok while I'm at it. Oh. I know that smell. You're a treasure hunter, aren't you? You probably think you'll strike a rich search in the debris, the zone I ruins from the upheaval. I used to be like you. I was gonna shake all the treasure loose from those ruins and get my one in a million score. So I thought. Hmm. And you know what happened? The zone I survey team crowded me out. They went and claimed all the best ruins for themselves. 
and Sese and her smartly dressed sycophants, they took up the hunt for Misko's treasure. In short, it's over. The bones are picked clean. You'd be better off just going to the Laureland Village in the southeast. That's what I'm gonna do. Kick back on the beach and try to enjoy retirement. But no one can get to Laureland right now because of what's happening there. They say it's been attacked by pirates. And again, news travels slow. For all I know, someone might have fought them all off by now. Anyway, that's why I'm thinking of going and visiting. It may be all the way out on the southeastern coast of Hyrule, but it's worth the trip. Whoa. Got it. Yeah, you're an adventurer, aren't you? You gotta be able to get out here. You get your scenes with strange creatures, maybe all the old ruins around. I tell you, this area has its challenges. The heavy rain makes steady footing hard to come by. Ah. Still, if you wander around, you never know when you'll what you'll find. Just don't let any lightning find you first. Huh. Crying out loud. Of all the places those monsters could go, they decide to settle down in those caves. Our caves? Wonder if there's some way to chase them out for the stable's sake. Hmm? Huh? Oh, hello, hello. I was so deep in thought I didn't notice you there. You didn't happen to, uh, hear what I was saying, did you? Hmm. Guess you did hear. There are three caves that appeared around here after the upheaval. They're all up there. One near Corda Lake. Another next to Rodi Lake. I can even see that one from here. And the last over by Kalora Lake. Hmm. Huge deposits of luminous stone can be mined in those caves, so they're popular spots for travelers. Or they were. Then the three giant monster brothers showed up. Those three used to be over in Tehran Pass to the northeast. Now they're in our region, hawking the caves for themselves. Uh... If we don't do something, travelers will stop coming here, and business at the stable will dry up. Mm. Oh, I can't win. It's not as though they'll up and leave. Ousting the giants. Is that the three fucking Henoxes from... I don't have that area on my map. I already forgot what he said anyways. Oh. Yep, got your picture. Oh. Like this one? Did you get a picture of the falls on a clear day? Ha oh. <laughs> That's exactly what I asked for. This would really liven up the look around here. Okay if I paint a copy? Oh. Thank you. Ah, oh, the falls really pack a punch. No matter how many times I see them, I'm always moved beyond words. The pictures will make travelers glad they made the long, slippery trip to Farron. Y'all just give me a moment to whip up a reproduction. Don't worry, I'm good at this, I promise. Good. Oh. I knew it. Perfect. Thanks to you, Link. Hey. Stunning. That said, if you want a different one, I'll happy to oblige. Just show me a new picture and I'll cut update it. Here's your fucking point. Here's your fucking food. Ooh. Get the fuck out. Oh. Thanks to you, Link, a ray of light shines in my storm-battered stable. Visitors of the fair might not find clear skies outside, but in here, the mood will always be bright and sunny. Now, once again, uh. welcome. What can I do for you? Ooh. Yeah, we can't put shit on you. to see me. Be gentle, okay? I was traveling with someone and got separated. I'm in a real pickle. 
He's sending up a smoke signal. Can't wait to catch up. Ugh, I'm too tired to move. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're really wrapping up soon, so calm your titty, Switch. Right across the corner, huh? Like, yeah, it's literally just around that turn. And assume that it will have a shrine nearby to make easy access to the town. <coughs> oh! Oh, my throat. Ugh. Ugh, God. First, what I believe to be a Korok, and if it is, it's literally the exact same one from Breath of the Wild. There have been a few that have been the same, just some repeats. Oh, banana. <laughs> yep. Yahaha, ha you found me! Again, I didn't come up with a new hiding spot. Oh, electric darners, huh? Because it's storming. At least some knowledge of Breath of the Wild. I mean, a lot of it still carries over to this game. Fuck! Ooh, got a Thunderwing butterfly. Do I have a picture of them yet? Not sure. I do. Darn rain. Take these, mighty bananas are quite good. <laughs> yeah, they just do that in the rain. Harness will slow you down, but still. Still faster than on foot. I'm gonna need the tall one.
fuck it, it's probably fine. Oh boy, everything's going bad. That's probably good enough. Jesus. Damn it, this one is unstable as hell. Oh my god, in the game. Jerry rig until it fucking works. No one is going to stop me. Mr. President, how much support do you require?
Actually, this might be the solution. Ah. Mm -hmm. It's always simpler than you think it is. Damn it. Boy, that was a bigger <laughs> ordeal than it needed to be. Ah. And with that, you are off indeed. Lorland Village, Tuft Mountain. Pirates have invaded Lorland just ahead, those not confident, and pirate fighting should not approach. That's uh, a monster camp. There's a cave. No doubt a monster den. With the skull emblem outside of it. Almost at Lorelin. Did a shooting star fall? You. you know what? Just get this cave marked. Much the exact same spot as Breath of the Wild. for me. Snow coming out of the well. Oh, there's a geoglyph in this town, too. Damn, there's a lot happening around here. Grounds flow.
Yes, I know, game. Fuck! Oh my god! <laughs> Goodbye! Shit! Push you off, huh? Okay, that went worse. Okay. Screw getting creative. arrows. Oh, this is going so fucking badly. What is happening? Why can't I knock any of them off?
Just you left. Spike ball up here I could have used. I mean, <sighs> victory is victory. As sloppy as it was. Right, this abomination. Geoglyph here. Maybe just go ahead and grab the Dragon Tear. Oh wow, it's been burned to the ground. So nice. And I and in Breath of the Wild I didn't even find Lorlin until I had long beaten the game. Because the story never brings you this way, and it doesn't seem like it does this time either. But hunting the fairies has just kind of dragged me over here. Alright, maybe I should have tried to do some more scouting to find out where the tier actually is, but eh, we'll figure it out. Nah. Okay, Eventide Island is still there. Wonder what wonderful challenges await us on it this time around. Well, 
just a capsule here. Just out in the open. Okay, I'll take it. Not ya, haha. However, this absolutely is. thing till we find it. the whole beach? What even is this one? It's like getting more glowy and mystic-y. That means I'm closer, huh? Is it just gonna be all the way at the end? Treasure. Possibly. No. <laughs> you little bastard. tricks. Those scared the shit out of me the first time I saw one in Breath of the Wild. Crab. It is now time for crab. When cooked, the compound increases your attack because crab gives power. For do we not all desire to return to crap? Yo. Damn, the whole fucking squad. Man, if there 
are some taller trees. I gotta take a damn look at it from those cliffs up there. I mean, I can't just keep looking like this. It'll be somewhere, damn it. out even onto these rocks here. It's gotta be somewhere up here. The Mighty Porgy. Not so mighty now. Jesus Christ. Alright. Let's watch some plot. Oh, yes, the snow store. This is all I've done for like... I don't even know how many hours straight now. I can't put this game down. I don't want to. But I gotta recharge the battery. Also, I gotta get up before I think my coccyx bone turns to fucking powder. All right, Zelda. We are alone as you requested. <clears throat> what was it you wanted to discuss with me in private? <laughs> you are far too trusting. <laughs> I'm surprised to hear you say such a thing. That is quite out of character for the Zelda I know. But then you are a puppet of Ganondorf. Did you really think we hadn't realized your deceit? He's just another phantom. right before the scene where he becomes Demise, huh? Well, that sucks for Sonya. So he's pulling the same shit that he tried back then. Yeah. Sonya meets Zelda in private, when the princess is revealed to be a creature under Ganondorf's command. Sonya and the real Zelda address the threat with confidence. The false Zelda laughs eerily and vanishes in a mist of gloom. In that moment, Ganondorf steps up behind Sonya and catches the queen by surprise, as she falls victim to the scheme after all. Damn. What a dick. Okay. <sighs> With that, I think I'm gonna call it a day. So that does it for this episode of Tears of the Kingdom. Next time... Oh right, I need to do the fucking...
pen quest at um the stable, whatever the name of that one was. So investigate Creepy Well and find the flute guy. All right. Well, oh, my butt. Uh, that doesn't work now. Ugh, untucks to everybody. Yeah, I'm gonna go past that. Y'all have a great evening and take care of yourselves. Good night.